Hey, do you guys mind if I quit the sexy macaroni? Mm, I'm sorry. I am just frustrated with the video making process today. This is the eighth time I have tried to record this video. Um, great, it's already been a minute and 30 seconds. What have I said? Nothing. I have not even answered a question. Okay, I have two questions to answer, which I was very excited about in the beginning. I was like, oh, yes, two questions to answer. Yeah, woohoo! And I had all these notes of things to tell everybody. No, there's no time for that. There's no time for anything when I make a video because I ramble and ramble and ramble. And it's like, what do you know? 12 minutes, I don't want to edit you. So, my first question is from Michelle, who is a very, um, uh, really, really cool way to, like, ask the question. I was like, dude, there's a woman there. And my pet peeve being very clear to me yet again today. Actually, not today, more like Monday. But I hate it when people are just, they seem to be just like loud and rude and obnoxious for no reason. Not, not like funny obnoxious. Like if they, they're not making jokes or talking. It's just in the things that they do. In my last period health class, I'll be kind of just sitting there in the chair. You know, like doing homework or listening or whatever. It'll be like independent work time, so I guess I won't be listening. But I'll like to be doing my homework or my work for that class or really anything reading. And the next thing I know, the person behind me slams the front of his desk into the back of mine. I jump three feet in the air and they just cackle. Like what? Why, why do you need to slam and then not even apologize? Like I, why? I don't, why do you have to be all loud and then, and then people, will, people will drop their books and cackle. It's like shut up. And then there are some girls in the class who are loud in the way they laugh. Like this one girl. I don't want to give any names because obvious reasons, she'll just, I don't know, someone will say something to her, like, it'll be having a private conversation, it will be like whispering or just talking, like a quiet pace, everyone else is working, and then all of a sudden, she will laugh, <laughs> and that'll go on, for, for, it seems like weeks, to be honest, weeks, and it's just loud, and it's like, what, nothing is that funny in the middle of health class, um, Liz's question. See, I would make a joke um, involving like a parody to I Like Hats with, you know, a dance move, but I don't really have time, so I'm just going to show you my favorite hats. It's soft and smells like, I don't know, Thanksgiving, because I got it the day before Thanksgiving, and I'm going to put it on again because it's fun to put it on. So, I really like that hat. Hats are just like cozy and, you know, they're just, they're nice. I like hats. So this is my answer. This is my hat answer. My question is going to be for, oh no, I don't have any tongs. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I don't know where they went. So I got this thing and I'm going to try to like scoop up a sock with this. So my question is, what is your favorite condiment? It could be like a hot dog condiment or like a... Mexican condiment or like um you know Chinese food condiment like any kind of condiment really that you want it's not like practice safe eating use a condiment not like that but you know the eating condiments the the flavor enhancing kind of not like cherry ribbed kind of hoosies shaking it up shaking it up all right did I pick up a sock? Oh, I did! <laughs> this is the most amazing. I love this box so much. Argyle and Sliz. Here's your sock condiment. I mean, um, thank you for ans asking and answering questions this week, people. Keep play I keep moving this around. Okay, so before I <laughs> Okay, so before I go insane, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave now. Cause yeah. Bye guys, later. Look at my sexy owl.